All right, okay. this fucking then pink jet over here. I don't like what I'm seeing from him. He's been going around killing people left and right. There he is. Hi. Oh no! Did you get fucking shot out of the sky? All right. All right, 10 minutes in and I haven't done anything at all. This is good. This is a good start right here, people. This this is what we want. Look at those titties though. Attention everyone, please. If I could have your attention momentarily. We do have an American hero in the house tonight. A strong man. A brave man. He's the kind of man who knows exactly who he is. He doesn't hide under a toupee. He faces his challenges instead of just retreating to the sewers, nude, to forage for rings and coins. He's the kind of man that gives me the courage to do an amazing double backflip jackknife. And to go down on Christy Orlando the very same night. Wow, dude, that was just, that was so touching. That was an amazing thing you said about the troops just now. I was, I was talking about you! That was about me? Yeah, yes, he wasn't there when I went down on Christy Orlando on the trampoline. What's going on, people? So, I imagine, maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't. I just did a top 10 worst purchases video yesterday. So, it only makes sense I do a top 10 best purchases, doesn't it? I think it does. So, to that end, you may notice where I'm standing here. Um, this is sort of a little bit of a two-parter here at top 10. But before I even start this... Again, similar to the top 10 worst purchases, there are a lot of really good things to spend your money on when it comes to this game. And I'm going to do my best to balance between good vehicles to own and good businesses to own. But there are so many good purchases that I might make a part two to this also. But for now, I mean, this is, this is my top 10 list. I think are the most pertinent things that you should buy that every player should own. Um, and starting at number 10, which is sort of a uh, giveaway, <clears throat> an office. Now, having an office is fucking amazing. It allows you to become a Securo Serve CEO, which gives you abilities like ghost organization, bribe authorities, a couple other stuff. And allows you to spawn a buzzard next to you, among other vehicles. That sort of leads me to the second part of uh, number 10 right here. But owning an office is essential. And the reason I mean, I'm putting it at the top here is because a lot of new players probably have the Criminal, en the criminal Enterprise Starter Pack, which um, gives you an office, which is the same location I have right here, Maze Bank West. And you really don't need a better one than this. And it gives you everything that any other office gives you. And... So. <clears throat> the second reason you want to own an office. And arguably the most important one. Is it allows you to spawn a buzzard right next to you like a fucking cheat code, people. Number nine. Trying to record a video. Can you please fuck off? Number nine right here. The homing launcher. Now, the reason that I'm putting this at number nine is because every player in the game should own one of these right here. And the reason I'm saying that is because there's no level cap on it. Unlike the RPG, which you have to be level 100 to own. The homing launcher has no level cap on it and really helps you deal with any sort of aerial threats. And it's just an all around great weapon to have in your arsenal. But that's not the only thing that's awesome. The homing launcher is amazing, but really it's only amazing until you unlock the explosive sniper right here. Now this thing basically shits all over any other weapon in the game. But unfortunately, 
you need to, uh, oh god, I'm gonna be murdered, hold on. Like I was saying, <clears throat> explosive ammo is really, like, the end-all, like, anti-vehicle weapon. Like, really, really experienced Hydra and laser pilots can avoid tracking rockets like this, but can't really avoid explosive sniper shells if you're a nice shot. Uh, the only problem is, is that you need to unlock these via research in the bunker, so... I mean, this week I would recommend taking advantage of the double, uh, research. But, uh, yeah. Woman. There we go. Number eight. Now, you may notice, if you're a new player, you say you see that little notice on the top left. Your hangar includes low-level clearance. God damn right it does. That's because I own a hangar inside the army base. Which for a while you could never even enter the army base here without being shot to shit by tanks. Having a hangar, people, is uh, is honestly it's it's like it's not like particularly profitable or anything, but. It's what allows you to customize all of these, like, ridiculous vehicles, like the Hunter, or the Akula, or, or the Hot, like, even putting a paint job on the Hydra, like, being able to save 20 aircrafts and have access to the ones that are exclusive to the hangar, like, this is an essential purchase in this game. So, I would definitely recommend buying one. Number seven, people is the facility right here and the Avenger it's two in one but you know whatever I can do what I want I can put I can put two things in one spot this is my top ten list um the facility is is absolutely amazing and arguably should be higher and would be higher on a lot of people's lists but you know I'm, I'm, I'm putting it here like it, I wouldn't say it's less important than anything else in front of it right now. Like, having the ability to do the Doomsday Heist allows you to unlock, like, crazy trade prices for a bunch of different vehicles, which in itself has a lot of value. And then you can, once you do all three acts, you can get the Bogdan finale, like, pretty much set up and do it back-to-back -back with people, which is also probably the second best way in the game to make money apart from the diamond casino heist back to back so so owning a facility right here is definitely awesome and to that end you cannot own an avenger without owning a facility and the avenger is absolutely amazing like it's probably the best of the three options i mean you'll need a terabyte if you want to uh upgrade the oppressor mark ii but the Avenger has cannons that can basically scorch Earth below it, and it's it's a monster in the sky. It used to be, like, even more deadly. It could eat, like, 28 explosive shells before blowing up, but they recently nerfed it. Well, not recently. They nerfed it a while back, but it's not as brolic as it once was, but even still. Via, uh, weaponized vehicle workshop in the back, like... Being able to customize like any any sort of weaponized vehicle, like owning one of these is, is pretty great. Now that being said, as much as I love the Avenger, um, the terabyte is also a great purchase, simply for the fact that buying it unlocks Page as a hacker in the heist, and it allows you to work on the Oppressor Mark II and give it missiles. Number six, the armored Karuma right here. Now this thing is amazing. It's bulletproof as fuck. And when I say bulletproof as fuck, I mean, uh, you can literally get shot with every single bullet in the entire game, like 9,000 bullets and you won't get killed. Now it's not very explosive resistant or anything like that. But just as an example, hey bot, do me a favor, get off the car and shoot my face over and over.
Yeah, look how fucking bulletproof this is, people. This man can shoot me all he wants to. He can shoot me right in the face all he wants. This windows aren't gonna break. Yeah, this thing is aggressively bulletproof and it's very affordable, even at max price. And it makes a lot of missions, like setup missions and everything, like extremely easy. So, if you don't own one of these, this is an essential must buy, like ASAP. Number five comes in the form of the Hydra right here. Now, the laser is arguably another, like, a gun, another good jet, but this is half the cost and has VTOL functionality. Like, this thing is aggressively nice and basically acts like a helicopter. that but it has explosive cannons just like the laser like when combined with the VTOL functionality this thing is arguably like better than the laser for half the cost so if you don't own one of these I would highly recommend getting one A ASAP number four and the reason it's at number four because you can call it in just like a buzzard. Honestly, this could be at number one for a lot of people. And this is the Oppressor Mark II. Like, watch. You see how I'm about to be shot to death? No, I'm actually not. Because I'm, I've left the situation. And I will fire missiles and destroy everyone and everything in like three seconds. Because this car is fucking, I mean, this uh, hover bike right here is. This, this thing is an aggressive purchase. Like, I mean, you, full disclosure, you need to own a terabyte to fully make use of it. And in order to own a terabyte, you need to own a nightclub, which I will get to in a minute, which you should also own. But, and a, oh God, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this thing is just aggressively tough. It's a, it's a hover bike. Like, what, what else do I need to say about it? Number um, uh, three. Now, arguably, I, I would have put this at number one if this was just a top ten vehicles list. But this is not a top ten vehicles list. This is a top ten purchases list. And, you know, it's, it's really subjective whether you think the Oppressor Mark II or this has more value, but... The fact is, is that the Akula chopper right here is a unique and absolutely absurd vehicle because click right stick, your icon blinks on your map, which means you're off the radar completely to any other players indefinitely. And that's absolutely bad shit crazy. Like that's too much. Like, this is a helicopter that allows you to drop off the radar entirely. Like, this is a must-own vehicle for anyone and everyone playing this game. That's all there is to it. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. The Akula is amazing. Buy one. Number two. In all its glory. Now, I debated what how to order these honestly but the fact is is that the nightclub business here and my number one are going to make you the absolute most money possible this like look at this like once you own all five of the businesses all five of the MC businesses and a um and a warehouse, and a bunker, you can have your guys source all seven of these materials. And once they source all of them... Shit. And once they source all of them, this adds up to about 1.6 million, which goes up to about 1.95 with a full lobby. And if you're watching TV, this is going to be making money for you in the background. Like... 
owning a nightclub along with all of the upgrades associated with it, it's expensive, but it will make you bank in the long run. And it's entirely like, it's one of the best purchases you can make in the entire game because at the end of the day, purchases that make you money are the best things that you can buy in the game because you're getting a return on your investment. Whereas if you buy a $3 million sports car, you're not getting any return unless you sell the car. So this is number two, buy yourself a nightclub, get it set up fully, own all the businesses and you'll be making bank before you know it. God damn explosions. That's deep. Oh, God! Probably should have been paying attention. Man, this is cutting deep right now. This guy's taking advantage of me in my tipsy state. Now listen, people. There are many vehicles that are dope to own. The Scramjet, the Avenger, the Hydra, the Kula. They're, they're all very dope. The Vigilante, even. The Batmobile. But... Owning an arcade is the absolute best purchase you can make in this game. For the simple fact, if you've never seen the other videos I've done, you can back-to-back -back this glitch. And when I say back-to-back, -back, I mean you can do your finale once you set it up and then quit and then keep your finale without any of the setups over again. And then you can do back-to-back -back finales with your friends because they also kept their finales. So they pay you 85%, you pay, they, you pay them 85%, etc., etc. Most fucking profit in the entire game. I mean, apart from, like, money duplicating glitches, and, like, apartment glitches and car dupe, like, those are extra levels that Rockstar will really come after you over. But this right here, I've never seen anyone getting banned or money wiped for this, so... Fucking number one purchase by far is an arcade because it allows you to set up these new heists. What's up, squad? Faulty, 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 funny. <clears throat> and with the arcade comes a little bonus right here in the form of the master control terminal. Now, you cannot own this if you don't own the arcade, but this is a little bonus purchase right here. This right here is a great great investment it's a little pricey when it's not on sale but it allows you to enter any of your businesses and keep track of them and resupply them and as far as selling goes you're going to actually have to go to said businesses when you want to sell them but uh yeah an arcade is an absolute must own for any player as of december so get on that shit people other than that, you know the whole spiel. Like, subscribe, check the channel, do all that fun stuff. Ring the bell even, I don't know. Check me out on Twitch here. I stream all the time. Also on Mixer sometimes when I feel like it. Either way. And yeah. Till the next one. Bam! I'm gonna go fucking orbital cannon that asshole. If he's still, if he has the audacity to be in this lobby right now, he's dead. 70 seconds, 65 seconds, come on. Oh, revenge. Revenge will be sweet. Oh, look at you flying around in your oppressor, buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's number one out of five that I'm planning on giving you. Killed by the strike team! <laughs> <laughs> stop! Oh my god, stop!
Oh, cuts deep for you, asshole. That's two. Oh, he got killed by the mercenaries. Jax. Oh, bud, you shouldn't have gone out of passive mode so quickly. <laughs> I told you it'd be five on four. What did I say, people? Oh, Kjax. Kjax, my guy. Oh, Kjax left like a punk bitch. Woo, tank! 